college dropout to tech titan, Steve Jobs completely restructured six industries in just 30 years. His journey transformed not only Apple, but the entire technological landscape. Jobs' relentless pursuit of innovation catapulted a garage startup into a trillion-dollar empire that continues to reshape how we interact with technology daily. Born in 1955 and adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs, young Steve grew up in the heart of Silicon Valley. His fascination with electronics blossomed early, nurtured by his father's craftsmanship and the tech-rich environment. In high school, a fateful meeting with Steve Wozniak ignited a partnership that would change the world. Jobs' brief stint at Reed College ended abruptly, but his hunger for knowledge persisted. He audited classes, slept on friends' floors, and collected Coke bottles for food money. Little did anyone know this college dropout would soon become a millionaire. In 1976, Jobs and Wozniak founded Apple Computer in Jobs' parents' garage. The Apple Y, hand-built and revolutionary, marked the beginning of the personal computer era. But it was the Apple II that truly put the company on the map, becoming one of the first mass-produced microcomputers. Apple's meteoric rise culminated in a 1980 IPO that valued the company at $1.2 billion. At just 25, Jobs was worth over $200 million. However, success breeds complexity, and the young entrepreneur soon faced his first major setback. The Macintosh, launched in 1984, was a game changer. Its graphical user interface and mouse input redefined user-friendly computing. Yet internal power struggles led to Jobs' ouster in 1985, forcing him to start anew. Undeterred, Jobs founded Next Computer, focusing on high-end workstations. Simultaneously, he acquired Pixar, transforming it into an animation powerhouse. These wilderness years taught Jobs invaluable lessons, refining his vision and management style. Apple, struggling without its visionary leader, brought Jobs back in 1997 by acquiring Next. The prodigal son returned as interim CEO, armed with a radical turnaround strategy. He streamlined product lines, prioritized design, and launched the iconic Think Different campaign. The 1998 introduction of the iMac marked Apple's resurgence. Its all-in-one design and emphasis on aesthetics signaled a new era of consumer-focused computing. A strategic partnership with Microsoft further stabilized the company, setting the stage for unprecedented growth. Jobs then set his sights on the music industry. The 2001 launch of the iPod, promising 1,000 songs in your pocket, revolutionized portable music. iTunes followed in 2003, legitimizing digital music downloads and reshaping the entire industry's business model. But Jobs' most significant innovation was yet to come. In 2007, he launched the iPhone, a device that combined a phone, iPod, and internet communicator. Its revolutionary touch interface and subsequent App Store launch in 2008 created an entirely new ecosystem, disrupting established players like Nokia and BlackBerry. Not content with dominating smartphones, Jobs introduced the iPad in 2010. This post-PC device filled the gap between phones and laptops, creating a new category that impacted publishing, education, and entertainment. Throughout his career, Jobs' management style was as innovative as his products, his attention to detail, focus on simplicity, and ability to anticipate consumer needs set him apart. While often demanding and abrasive, he inspired fierce loyalty and drove relentless innovation. Even as he battled pancreatic cancer, diagnosed in 2003, Jobs continued to lead Apple's charge. He stepped down as CEO in August 2011, passing away just months later. His legacy, however, lived on. Under Tim Cook's leadership, Apple continued to innovate and expand. New product lines like the Apple Watch and AirPods, coupled with a growing services business, propelled the company to new heights. In August 2018, Apple became the first publicly traded US company to reach a $1 trillion market cap. It has since surpassed $2 trillion in 2020 and briefly touched $3 trillion in 2022. Steve Jobs didn't just build Apple, he revolutionized entire industries. From personal computing to animation, music, mobile devices, tablets, and retail, Jobs transformed how we interact with technology. His journey teaches invaluable lessons about vision, resilience, creativity, simplicity in design, and building ecosystems rather than just products. Jobs' path from college dropout to tech titan shaped our digital world. His relentless drive to think different 
created more than just a trillion dollar company. It fundamentally changed how we live, work, and connect. The Apple II and Macintosh redefined home computing, while Pixar's success revolutionized filmmaking. The iPod and iTunes transformed music consumption, and the iPhone with its App Store birthed a new mobile ecosystem. The iPad ushered in the post-PC era, while Apple stores reinvented the tech shopping experience. Throughout his career, Jobs demonstrated the importance of having a clear vision and the resilience to overcome setbacks. He balanced creativity with business acumen, understanding that great ideas need solid execution to succeed. His obsession with simplicity and design made complex technology accessible to the masses. Perhaps most importantly, Jobs grasped the power of creating entire ecosystems rather than standalone products, a strategy that continues to drive Apple's success today. Jobs' impact on modern life is hard to overstate. His ability to anticipate and shape consumer needs, coupled with his uncompromising pursuit of perfection, set new standards across multiple sectors. Even years after his passing, his influence continues to be felt in every sleek smartphone design, every user-friendly interface, and every seamlessly integrated tech ecosystem. In the end, Steve Jobs' greatest achievement wasn't just building a trillion-dollar company. It was reshaping our relationship with tech.